All right, here's my review of the Grenzvorsprung Scandinavian Forest Axe. If you don't speak a Scandinavian language, you don't have to struggle with the pronunciation. You can just say Grenzfors. Made in Sweden, as you can see. And this is a medium-sized chopping axe. It's not a full-sized felling axe. It's obviously not a small backpack hatchet either. And I would think for most people, this is probably the maximum size they would be comfortable with carrying around for you know, hiking, camping, bushcraft, that sort of thing. The uh, extra weight in the head definitely pays off for this one because you can chop down trees with it pretty easily if you have to. And you just get quite a bit of extra power in the swing. And of course, the long handle allows for comfortable two-handed use. And I view it as kind of a versatile all-rounder. If you look at the shape of the head, it's not optimized for splitting, but it still does the job fairly well. It's ideal for delimbing, chopping, you know, smaller sized logs. But if you have to take on large pieces, that works just as well. You get a pretty gradual taper. So even though it doesn't have the strong V-shape wedge that you would need for dedicated splitting, it still does that quite well without getting stuck a lot. The steel that they use for these is a bit of a mystery. It's from a producer called Ovaco, if I pronounce that correctly. Uh, which is focused on sustainability. They have three scrap-based steel mills and uh, are big on recycling. So that's quite nice, actually. That's a recycled steel. And um, the uh, drawback is they don't tell you what it is. It's just, you know, high carbon steel. Yeah, uh, I don't know what type it is. I don't know the hardness either. They don't tell you about the tempering. They seem to keep that a secret, which... Um, yeah, I can kind of see in some ways, but then again, I generally prefer if the manufacturer gives you all the information and is a bit more transparent about it. However, after having used that for quite a bit, I can say that you don't really have to worry about it. I mean, it's definitely high quality steel, good edge retention, and uh, it certainly performs well. It's uh, forged with a large power hammer. It's really more of a press uh, with different stages where they shape the head pretty quickly and efficiently. It's a very streamlined process. You can find videos of that on YouTube and they really eliminate any extra steps and um, they, they only grind and polish the edge itself. So Everything else is just, you know, the shape is completely forged otherwise. It's wedged, as you can see. So they just press the, the handle into the eye of the axe and then wedge it so that they're not using any glue. It just holds the way it is and it's very tight, as you can hopefully see. The handle is made of hickory, which is, of course, a very good choice. Excellent wood, very strong. And they make sure to dry it entirely before shaping so that it's not going to shrink afterwards. And then they soak it in hot linseed oil. You can also see the grain here is, you know, follows the shape of the handle perfectly. So that's very well done. It comes with this leather sheath here, which is simple but effective. Fits very well and, well, gets the job done. Looks quite nice too, you know, pretty classy. The edge actually came shaving sharp, you know, literally hair shaving sharp, which, um, I wish I had recorded that, but I forgot. I was so eager to <laughs> try it out that I just went out and started wood chopping without actually recording the sharpness out of the box. You can see after 
quite a lot of use. The edge will probably not really see that it's dulled because there's really not too much light reflection going on there. It wasn't uh, flattened significantly or rolled or chipped or anything. So it, it still looks pristine pretty much, but it is dulled. So at this point, it definitely needs resharpening, which I haven't done yet. I wanted to get the review done first. So yeah, I haven't even touched it up with a steel, you know, just to see how well it performs if you don't do anything to it at all. You know, just keep chopping and um, it still chops wood just fine. It's just, uh, it could definitely use resharpening at this point. And I was very pleased to see how well the axe head is shaped. I mean, there are a lot of cheap axes on the market that just don't have a good edge geometry at all. I mean, the, the worst offender that I have personally come across so far is this one here. And if you compare, let's see, hopefully I can get them in properly. Yeah, you see the, the one on the left is far more rounded and you know, has a very short bevel, really. And uh, this one here doesn't cut at all. I mean, it's, it's really hard to even chop into wood at all. So it's, it really performs poorly. If I compare it with this Tomahawk here, the CRKT Woods Trogan, which I've reviewed before, and I've been pretty happy with it. I mean, it performed well. If I compare those two here side by side, you'll see that they're pretty similar, really. I mean, this here has a slightly longer edge bevel, but in terms of thickness and taper, they are really quite similar. And that's really what you want in a chopping axe. You know, if you wanted to cut well, as far as the edges are concerned, let's see the bevel on the the Swedish one is, you know, just slightly longer. And I feel it does help with cutting into the wood. And here's an example of a blade shape that is really problematic. This one does not want to bite into the wood properly. And I'm sure you can see the problem there. It's just way too rounded. So they did a great job with the edge geometry on this one. And it's also going to be pretty easy to resharpen because you can see the edge bevel clearly if you just stay on there with your sharpening stone or file or whatever it is then yeah it's not that challenging so that's quite nice you know i don't have a lot of experience with wood chopping i never had a job which involved wood chopping we never owned a wood stove so it was really never necessary it was always just for recreational purposes if you will you know camping uh, bushcraft practice stuff like that so uh, my technique may very well be off. Uh, I, I try to improve it, but it may still not be ideal. So uh, someone who has a lot of experience with axes will probably chop much more efficiently and more quickly. But this axe here really made it easy for me. I mean, compared to every other axe I've used so far, this was just a breeze. I mean, it really made it a lot of fun to do that. I've had some negative experiences with uh, a couple of those um, quote unquote tactical axes that really don't perform anywhere close as well as this one. So I was really impressed with it. Um, it's probably just because of my inexperience. I'm probably easy to impress because I've been using the wrong stuff so far. But this here, I mean, it's really a breeze. It's just a pleasure to use. And it's, it makes wood chopping and splitting and everything else you might want to do really easy. And the edge is so well shaped and sharp that you can pretty much use it as a replacement knife. I mean, if you just choke up on it and push the head along, you can carve and cut off fine shavings easily. This here is, of course, not a carving axe. It doesn't have a straight edge, but it does work reasonably well for it. And uh, yeah, it's just pretty versatile, really. If I had to choose between a large knife and an axe like this for you know general outdoor purposes, I'm pretty sure I would go with the axe. 
um, ideally with a small knife in addition, but uh, yeah, whenever you have to process wood, this is really damn hard to beat. And at the price also, yeah, it's um, of course a matter of personal opinion. To some people, the price you know, around $100 may seem pretty expensive, but for the quality you're getting, in my opinion, it's really pretty affordable, really. And an axe like this, if taken care of properly, could last you a lifetime. I mean, it is definitely a long-term investment. Unless you break the handle, and it's not that difficult to replace, really. But the head is, is gonna keep going for a very long time. So I'm very pleased with this. I can only highly recommend it. Pretty impressed with this company. And um, yeah, I hope you found the review helpful and thanks for watching.